The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, better brands, bigger savings. Buy, pick, and save, new every day. Buy Freighter from the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, where sports medicine experts help athletes maximize their potential. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds, who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Watch out, Lance. We're in raccoon country. Hi, and welcome to Oconomowoc High School. I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. Tonight, we have the Oconomowoc boys basketball team in action, plus a couple of excellent matchups for girls basketball. Also, we'll take a look at the recently completed high school football season. But we're going to start this week's show in the wrestling room, where we're going to meet an outstanding competitor who's already laid the groundwork to his future. Here's Brad Preter. He's got the Boston Store featured student athlete. When he's hard at work on the mat, Zach Smith might not be thinking about tradition, but Zach is carrying on tradition in more ways than one. We have a lot of good people that have come out of this program, like Alex Deringer and David Arn Jr. And knowing that I've, I'm representing them every time I go out there and wrestle, it's something special. Zach hopes to join Alex, David, and the others on Port Washington's champions board this season, He's come very close with a second place showing at state as a freshman and third as a junior. Despite all his accomplishments, Zach says his biggest moment in the sport may have come when another Pirate won a state title. It had to be when my best friend Noah last year won state. It was, pretty, it was a pretty magical moment for us. Coach Angelo La Rosa and other Pirates wrestlers say Zach is tough to beat and fun to watch. He's an animal on top. It's, it's hard to get out, he just ends everybody. He's really dangerous. Um, he's really strong for his weight class. He takes a lot of risks like that. Uh, he likes the big moves and every once in a while, it, sometimes it doesn't work, but when it does, it's kind of like, it's crowd pleaser, you know? So, gotta have some of that. While his goal this season is clear, Zach's future plan is now set. He recently signed to wrestle at Virginia Military Institute. My main concern was whether or not I'd make my dad proud. And then after I realized that no matter what, he would have been proud of me, I was able to make my decision. Zach's decision to wrestle at a military school makes sense because the discipline he needs to excel there is similar to the discipline he needs to excel here. Zach also has a military connection in his family. Zach's dad served in Desert Storm, and his uncle is being promoted to the rank of general in the U.S. Army. My uncle's a pretty big influence on me, and I look up to him quite a bit, so it's pretty cool that he's getting promoted in general. We've had a lot of wrestlers over the years go into the military and, and succeed, so wrestling and military go, um, they have a good connection, I think. When I went to the school to visit, um, the wrestlers didn't have a whole lot of problems adapting to the lifestyle, because wrestling is so disciplined and mentally tough. College, of course, is a ways away. Senior year is here now, and Zach put in plenty of time and effort getting ready for it. And he wrestled uh, all summer, and, and he's really committed, and, and uh, you know, he really wants to finish his career on, on top of the podium. He's had a really good career and just looking to finish on top. Best of luck to Zach and the Pirates this season. And because Port Washington has such a rich tradition, we asked longtime coach Duffy Brelsford to do the honors. Zach Smith, this is uh, congratulations on the Preps Plus Athlete of the Week. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Add attractive accent touch with Patriot Lighting from Menards. These flexible rope lights can be installed indoors or outdoors and connect up to 200 feet in five colors, just $3.99 each. Finish cleanup faster with a wet dry vac from ShopVac. They offer powerful performance for almost any cleaning task. This 12-gallon model or 14-gallon model has a 6.5 peak horsepower motor and features rear tool storage. Your choice, just $79 each after rebate. Save big money at Menards. What if you could detect a heart or vascular issue before you could feel it? 
Or if a device smaller than your hand could keep you going for years while you're waiting for a transplant. What if you had more life-saving vascular treatments? That's academic medicine. Freight Art and the Medical College of Wisconsin has the technology, research, and clinical trials to give you more ways to get well. Here, we turn what-ifs into what is possible. Save $1,000 on your college tuition. Pick and Save will award two $1,000 Preps Plus College Scholarships to high school seniors from the 2015 graduating class. To fill out your Preps Plus Scholarship application form, please visit jsonline.com slash scholarship. Hurry, completed applications must be received by Saturday, December 20th. Welcome back to O'Connor Mall High School on Preps Plus. And Lance, we made the transition from football to basketball. And tonight we have a couple of top shelf non-conference girls basketball games. It's the Preps Plus highlights. It's that time of year on Preps Plus where we transition from the gridiron to the hardwood. And tonight we focus on girls basketball with a great non-conference matchup. It's Arrowhead visiting Brookfield East. The defending Classic 8 champion Warhawks return seven seniors from last year's squad. Meanwhile, the Spartans should make some noise in the greater Metro with a lot of experience and plenty of scoring back this season. A great start for the home team. Angela Pitchler with the steal. She splits the defenders and goes all the way for the deuce. East jumps out 6-0. But the Warhawks go on a run. Augie Jepson buries this three ball. She had a game high 13 as Arrowhead goes up 10-8 after one. Back come the Spartans. Off the steal, Mariah Miller with the baby hook as East stays close. But Arrowhead goes on a nice run to close the half. Here's Callie Lederman with the running banker. Then it's Jepson with a nice feed to Allie May who drains the wide open three. 25-12 Warhawks at halftime. The Spartans come out hungry in the third. Abby Gregg with the rainbow three. The lead is cut to single digits. Arrowhead answers. Kayla Lorenz with the steal ahead to May who takes it herself off the glass. Warhawks still up 12 after three. But Brook East mounts a big rally in the fourth. Pitchler on the drive, and the home team cuts the deficit to just five points. But Arrowhead makes the key plays down the stretch thanks to Allie May. Here she finishes inside as the lead is back to seven. Then some nice passing as May gets deep once again for the lay-in. The Warhawks even their record at one and one with a 51-40 win. It's a season with high expectations. We started with a tough game last week against a great opponent, Pius. And Brookfield East is a good team, and so we're glad to come in here and just get a victory. A lot of kids back, 10 kids back, seven seniors, but we also have some young kids filling in some spots. And if uh, their teammates can help them gain some confidence, you know, maybe this team has a shot at something. The girls at Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School and the guys are poised for another strong season. First, a flashback to last March when the Chargers captured the WIAA Division III State Championship. Several key players from that squad are back this season. Now West Bend East made the short trip to KML for a non-conference matchup. The Chargers take charge early with Carrie Schneiss making a very Schneiss pass to Alyssa Shipley for the easy bucket. Schneiss was all conference in the flyway last year and Michaela Voigt was the conference player of the year. Voigt's three ball adds to the early lead. Then it's Sydney Soderbeck stepping up and knocking down the jumper. It's 9-0 KML. Now time for another quick flashback. In September, Preps Plus featured West Bend East's Rachel Staplefelt, who kicked field goals for the Suns. Staplefelt not only splits the uprights from long range, she can also rip the net from long distance as she connects for three. Later it's Staplefelt with the feed to Hannah Canope. She can't connect, but East will keep on crashing the boards until Amy Daly puts it up and in. Taking on KML is a tough task. Watch number 25, Sydney Rossow, pass the ball, then follow it to the basket. 
She gets the put back and the Chargers roll to the victory. They're first in what they hope will be another championship season. Each year brings a new team and new chemistry and, and how the pieces fit together is still yet to be seen. And that's part of the fun of a, a long basketball season. We get to see how the individuals come together and make a team. The past is in the past and we remember the past, but at the same time we don't focus on it. We focus on the task at hand and that was a big part of what was kind of talked about even in the locker room before the game today. The boys basketball team here at Economic High School started slow last season, but definitely finished strong in the final month of the season. This year, Lance, they're hoping to start fast and keep up that pace. Here's Matt Queen. He's got the Menards Game of the Week. The changing of the seasons from football to basketball. It's a time of transition for both of the teams in our Preps Plus Game of the Week. Last year, Pewaukee was one win away from making it to state, but then they ran into the buzzsaw and eventual state champs from Wisconsin Lutheran. Can the Pirates make another deep run? Meanwhile, Oconomowoc won't wow you with their 10 and 13 mark from a season ago, but they did win seven straight games in February. Momentum they hope carries through to the tip off of a new campaign. Pewaukee started the night red hot from behind the arc. First, it's Steve McGowan from the corner for three. Then good ball movement finds Alex Clement on the elbow. Four threes for the Pirates as they grab an early 12-4 lead. Oconomowoc responds emphatically. Six foot 10 inch junior Spencer Treater with the flush. Raccoons down four after one. But the Pirates would be plundered in the second quarter. Oconomowoc has five seniors. One of them is Jordan Mackinnon. He had seven of his 10 points in the quarter, part of an 18 to five run Cooney up 29-22 at recess. Second half, the three keeping Pewaukee in the game. Steve McGowan one more time. Pirates within four. But here's the play that sums up the night. Zach Clayton hustling for Cooney. Pewaukee gets it back, but Clayton runs back onto the floor, gets another steal, and Jarek Berg finishes. Great energy from Oconomowoc. Cooney up double digits at home in the fourth. Pewaukee trying to make a run thanks to threes like this from Steve Olwinski, but Oconomowoc pulls away. They swing it around to Mackinnon for three. He hits it. Then with Pewaukee pressing, Cooney coolly handles the pressure. Chris Schick led them with 17 points as Oconomowoc flexes some early season muscle with a convincing 65-55 victory over Pewaukee. Last year we had Cam Larson who was a football leader and he was a basketball leader. We had Nick Pierce, we had Colin Valley, and then I think it rubbed up on our, us seniors, the five seniors, that we just, we know how special our team is and we're willing to lead them to victory. We had a tough start to last year and then we kind of figured things out and had a good little run at the end and the kids got a taste of what that felt like and I don't think they want to let go of that. So to start this year was um, with, a, with a win. It's, you know, piggybacking off of how we ended last year is a positive thing for the program. We're looking forward to a lot of very good boys and girls basketball this season. And if you have a game that you think we should cover, please hit us up and message us on our Preps Plus Facebook page. And of course, get all your hoops action by going to JSOnline.com. Sit tight, we'll be right back. When you time things right, food tastes better. At Pick and Save, we start with quality products, like our full line of USDA Choice Black Angus Beef, selected for exceptional tenderness and rich flavor. Then cut fresh daily right here in our stores. Doing what matters for your family every hour, every minute, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are your best friend. Want to get David Bakhtiari to do something? Well, then just tell him that he can't. 
That'll inspire the young left tackle to prove that he can. David Bakhtiari is our guest as Pick and Save presents from preps to pros. I have a certain type of work ethic I think not a lot of guys have. Just trying to outwork anyone in my way, I think that's kind of attributed to, to part of my success. While David Bakhtiari earned numerous honors on the football field as a high school senior, that was his first season as a starter at any level. Definitely humbled me and made me like realize you know, how hard I need to work and that nothing's really given to you. And um, Both my brothers are really good in high school, so it was kind of different you know, for having me to take a different route as compared to them. Waiting that long to be a starter inspired Bakhtiari, as did the opportunity to prove himself to anyone who doubted him. Big part is people tell me what I can't do because I loved proving people wrong. So I had my high school coach told me I could never star on his football team, proved him wrong, and then people told me I wasn't fast enough or big enough, proved them wrong. People said I could never get a scholarship. You know, just all, I just like continuously love proving people wrong. And people tell me it's something I can't do. I'm like, okay, let me try and find a way so I can do that. Last season, Bakhtiari was the only rookie in the NFL to start all 16 games at left tackle. Prior to that, he declared for the NFL draft after three years starting at Colorado, where he and a teammate, who now plays the same position for the Patriots, would push each other. Uh, we always had a saying after practice when we'd walk up the hill, um, was, did you always give her your all? And then our, always, our answer to it was, you can always give more. Like his work ethic, Bakhtiari considers his very long full name to be unique. My name is, <laughs> it's David Afrazi Abbasad Bakhtiari. So I have quite a big middle name in Persian. Um, I got, my real last name is two names that they split it up and gave us as a middle name. And then my other part of my middle name, Afrazi Ab, is my grandfather's name. So it's big old mumble jumbo. So I'm pretty sure no one else has it. Three Milwaukee area football teams played for the state championship, but only one brought home the gold ball. April Boblin checks in with the champs, our Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. It's been seven years since the Wisconsin Lutheran football team has been able to bring home a gold ball. This year, as 2014 champions, they're able to put another one in their trophy case. Uh, it was a great season that we had. Um, we started off good with a good win against Marquette, and we, uh, you know, continually got better over the season and improved. And uh, it was just a great season overall. At the beginning of the year, we knew that we wanted to win conference, and we knew that we wanted to make the state and win the state championship. Uh, we wanted to execute no matter who we were playing. We wanted to play our best game every week and to really execute as a whole team and get better every week. The Vikings ended their season as Little Ten Conference champs, Division Three state champs, and had a perfect 14-0 record. Well, it's just a great way to end the season, uh, knowing that you had won every game, but uh, you know, we all feel really good. Uh, it, it's a great way to end with a state championship, and I uh, couldn't be prouder of the guys in this team. Even state, it's just, it's just great. Uh, we talked about this year, you know, what's your legacy going to be like when, you know, when people look back at you. Our coaches have been talking about, you know, teams back, you know, in 2004 when they went undefeated and, you know, teams in the past and, you know, that's kind of our thing, like, you know, what are you going to be remembered as? And so that was a good way to leave our legacy, go out undefeated state champs. So. Leaving this legacy behind is largely due to their team motto. First Lord, second team is our motto for our team and that's probably going to stay that way, you know, forever as long as coach is here. And, you know, that just definitely puts our Lord first you know, give all the glory and play for him first. And then, you know, secondly, for our brothers out there and our team to know that, you know, we have each other's back on, you know, every play and that we're going to do it, you know, for them because they do it for us. So, you know, it's a good motto to live by and uh, play by. This year was a real special group. It starts with your senior class and, and the time that they put in. They earned the respect of their coaches and all their teammates and of each other. And, uh, I think more than anything else, they really cared about football and really cared about each other. And that came across the way they continued to work hard all year and improve throughout the year. 
congratulations, Vikings, for being this week's Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week and for all of your incredible accomplishments this season. It's a tradition here on Preps Plus to give one final shout out to all the teams that made it to Camp Randall Stadium. We'll do that in one moment, so please stick with us. Timing. Pick and Save knows how important it is. Whether we're flying today's catch in from the coast or stocking produce from a local farm, faster is better. We know how important your time is too. That's why we now promise you a faster and friendlier checkout every trip to our store. Pick and Save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are the best friend. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. It's estimated that there are over 400,000 residential fires every year in the U.S. alone. As the world's largest manufacturer of fire safety products, Kitta stands between those fires and your loved ones. Make sure they're protected with Kitta smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, and carbon monoxide alarms. Available now at Menards, this dual sensor smoke alarm is only $14.99. This two-pack carbon monoxide alarm is $19.99. Make sure you're safe and prepared with Kitta products from Menards. Low impact training helps minimize the possibility of injury and pain during exercise by reducing stress on the joints. Here to talk about the importance and the benefits of low impact training is Griffin Ewald. Griffin is a physical therapist with the Frederick and Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center. Griffin, thanks for being with yeah, us. Thanks. First, let's start by talking about what low impact training is. Basically, it's a uh, form of training that focuses on exercises that are um, meant more for uh, reducing the impact on the joints uh, and therefore it's more gentle on the body. And what kinds of techniques do you use? Here we have a, um, the Alter-G treadmill which is an anti-gravity treadmill. It uses air to kind of help reduce the stress to the to the joints and, and reduce your body weight as you're running. Um, there's also ellipticals or stationary bikes, those type of things. Are there any particular people who would benefit most from low impact training? Uh, really anyone. Someone who does a lot of training on long distance runners, endurance athletes to reduce the stress to the joints uh, as well as someone who may be overweight or irregular exercises to slowly build up to be, get ready to do more exercise or someone rehabbing an injury. Okay, Griffin, thank you so much. Yeah. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. ultimate goal is to win the gold ball, but anytime your season ends in Madison, Lance, Rice Lake Class of 88, it's been a great year. Warriors did well, but Scott Babbler put together this tribute to Arrowhead, Waukesha West, along with Wisconsin Lutheran. It's the Preps Plus Spotlight.
great accomplishment. Thanks for watching this evening. Next week, we feature the Milwaukee Bucks on our From Preps to Pros segment. So be sure to watch us next week for that, plus hoops highlights and so much more. Till next time, I'm Mark Stewart. And I'm Lance Allen. Thanks for watching Preps Plus. <laughs> the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Better brands, bigger savings. Buy, pick, and save. New every day. Buy Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, where sports medicine experts help athletes maximize their potential. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.